was the fact that Alfred Molina, uh, who recently, or I don't want to say recently, who previously played Dr. Octopus in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2 series, is actually making a return for Spider-Man 3, guys. I mean, in a world where uh, we've eventually, when it comes to 2020, we've learned to never say never, um, another situation has wind up popping up here that I didn't think I would get the opportunity to see, to be perfectly honest with you. And that is, in fact, according to a Hollywood reporter, Alfred Molina is returning as Dr. Octopus. It says all hands on deck for Otto Octavius returns for Spider-Man 3. Alfred Molina is putting the metal arms back on to reprise his role as the villainous Dr. Octopus sources tell The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, Molina turned in, uh, in a fan favorite performance in Sam Raimi's 2004 sequel Spider-Man 2 as Otto Octavius, a brilliant scientist turned eight-limbed villain who pushed Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man to the limits. Molina's involvement in the up coming Spider-Man movie was first rumored late last month by the uh, when GWW reported the actor had been spotted on set. Um, they also talk about uh, Benedict Cumberbatch will also appear um, in the film as Doctor Strange as well. And of course, we're supposed to be getting uh, our returning mainstays also. It does say Molina's involvement ties together three generations of Spider-Man movies. Jamie Foxx is returning as Electro, which starred uh, Andrew Garfield. And then, of course, we're getting the Tobey Maguire version of Doc Ock here uh, as well. So uh, a, a ton of development going on behind the scenes, guys, in, in regards to this film. Uh, and honestly, I couldn't be more excited. For me, you guys know my love of Spider-Man 3. Uh, for me, it's honestly still up there with maybe my top five um, favorite comic book movies of all time. Um, you know, it, there definitely is a cheese factor to the Sam Raimi movie. Uh, but considering this was really sort of our first foray into the Spider-Man movies, I just thought Sam Raimi did a really great job of bringing the web sling slinger to life. Um, and I just thought he did a marvelous job of, 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 of bringing that not only that cheese, but some of that comic book accuracy to it, um, and just having some fun with these characters and truly understanding just that that mindset and that vision and sort of um, um, how you represent Spider-Man sort of on the big screen. So for me, when I got the opportunity to see uh, Doc Ock, one of my favorite villains, I just thought Alfred Molina, Molina just knocked it out of the park and just honestly killed the role. One of my favorite villains that we've seen up until this point, even though for me, Vulture's pretty up there. I actually really enjoy the Michael Keaton stuff from Homecoming, but um, Alfred Molina just takes the cake in here, uh, and it, it felt as like when you think of just comic books being translated into a movie, I, I just feel like Doc, a uh, uh, Spider-Man Two, was just one of the the greatest one of the greatest adaptions of a comic book uh, that I've seen on the big screen in a really really long time. So uh, I'm excited for this. I, I don't know I, I, when I think about this move. Even though we have not seen Sony or Marvel actually confirm the return of Garfield and Maguire, if you're telling me you're bringing back Jamie Foxx, if you're telling me you're bringing back Alfred Molina and we are doing three different generations of Spider-Man villains here... I got to think that they're coming back at some particular point in time. So that that's just that's just my theory. So I am leaning towards us getting all three Spider-Man in this film eventually. Um, but uh, out, outside of this news, I, I think this is amazing news, guys. So let me go ahead and throw this over to you. I'll actually start with Indy here. You hear the news, uh, Indy, that Alfred Molina is, in fact, returning. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, man? I'm thinking that they're taking the best thing from the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans and bringing them to the best thing that's ever been done with Spider-Man. So why why not why not just mix all the best with the best minus the Amy Fox thing as long as they don't have him all blue will be good. Uh, just <laughs> get, just put him in a suit. They were trying to do way too much with that because he looked like an electrified Smurf. <laughs> but uh, I love the fact that they're doing this because. Alfred Molina was one of the reasons that I feel I was able to actually enjoy uh, that Spider-Man movie because Spider-Man one was cool. Um, love Macho Man Randy Savage in it. You know what I'm saying? I had his <laughs> moments. Uh, Spider-Man two was to me, one of the pinnacles of uh, comic book movies along with like the, the original blade movie. Mm -hmm. So it's what it to me was honestly, in my opinion, the first, really successful um, superhero movie to actually stay true to the essence of what the character was. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm all for it, and I'm a hundred percent ready to see the world that they're trying to build with this new Spider-Man movie. Yeah, me too, man. I, I there was just a, a really great element to seeing Alfred Molina um, as Doc Ock. I definitely agree with you as far as being able to capture the spirit of just a comic book character. Uh, I think this movie uh, just did it in spades, man. Whether it was just you know seeing. Peter Parker at his lowest all the time, right? Just like we did in the comics, seeing him uh, overcome uh, the situations that he's in, saving the woman of his life in the most epic of ways. Just the relationship that um, Otto wind up having with um, just Peter and things like that, and even just some again, just some of the amazing Spider-Man scenes. Like one of my favorite scenes from that is the uh, the train scene when he winds up saving all those people. Just some amazing heroic elements. Uh, everything that you would hope for out of Spider-Man definitely happened in. Spider-Man 2. So uh, let me pass this to you, Stuart. Have you heard this um, news about Alfred Molina returning as Doc Ock? Uh, what is the, how, how excited does that get you? Uh, excited for the actor to come back because I think he absolutely nailed that role in Spider-Man 2. In fact, the only like big mistake I think they made was killing him off because, I mean, I feel like they're, you know, I mean, obviously we know how it ended up turning out. Like they ended up ending the franchise after the third film, but it it just would have been kind of interesting to see what could have been if they had like kept that, that franchise going long enough to do like a sinister six type film with uh, all these returning actors. But with all that being said, I think him returning for the new MCU uh, universe, I think is going to be like awesome. And I'm very intrigued to see if he's going to be playing the same version of Dr. Otto Octavius, or if he's going to be doing like the new MCU take on the character. Cause you know, we still don't know if this is going to be like multiverse stuff and that's why they're bringing back these older actors, or if it's going to be like just a coincidence that it's the same actors kind of like with uh, J. Jonah Jameson, but you know, either way I'm intrigued.